Hello, my name is Eliel Carvalho. Today, you're going to learn how to remove a password for any Excel uh, sheet that have the worksheet protected. I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there before I teach you how to do this. Please, just use this with the files that you created and you forget the password. The example you're going to see is a file that I created back in 2014 and I don't remember the password, so I needed to remove that so I can make modification to the file. Don't use that for anything else other than the things that you own, the things that you, you created. With that said, let's go ahead and, and get started. The reason why I'm doing this, I'm showing this video, because I have this file over here. I created this file probably back in 2014. Is a file for, I'm gonna open this file really quick so you can have an idea, to track mirror badges. And here we have tons of mirror badges that I track. Let's just go back here to the beginning. So for example, astronomy. So this is the scout name. See, this sheet is protected. I can do anything. I can only change this. So basically, I put an A on the field that uh, the requirement for the mirror badges. And that gets automatically tracked. Um, and it will give like a percentage of completed. And when they hit 100%, it goes ahead and complete. I need to find out how I did this. It's been a while since I have this, I created this file. So I need to be able to remove that because I can't remember. Uh, if I try to go here, see this sheet is protected. If I try to unprotect it, I can't because it requires a password which, it, uh, which I don't remember. That's back in 2014. I cannot even remember what I ate for lunch yesterday. What, uh, how, why should I remember the password that I created in 2014? Not gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you how you do this. So here's the deal. The first step, I'm not gonna save this for now. So the first step, this file is an XLS file. So what we need to do, we need to convert this to a latest version, which is XLSX. So the only thing I'll do here, I'll say file, save as. I'm gonna save file, that file as, the same location is fine. I'm just gonna drop this down to Excel workbook and save. Yes, that's okay. Done, the file is saved. So now I have a new file over here. As you can see, this file is in the, the latest version. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna create this file, I'm gonna add it to archive and I'm gonna change, I'm using WinRAR by the way, I'm gonna change that to zip, I'm gonna hit OK. So now I have this zip file over here. So what I wanna do here, I wanna open this zip file and here's the file name, the file that I wanna change. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and rename, I'm gonna rename this file to zip, to .zip. So now that file will become a zip file now. If I double click on it, I'm gonna see what's inside the XLS file. So you go to this folder here called Excel, Excel, and then Worksheet. And see, you have, those are all my XML files for those worksheets. There are 16 of them over here. So I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do all of them, but I'm gonna show you how to do one, and then I'm gonna do all of them I'll pause the video and do all of them so if you don't need to watch me doing all of them. But one thing that I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna extract these files over here. Got them over here on the desktop. Anyway, you wanna extract it's fine, but I'm gonna put it in the desktop. And I'm gonna do uh, number one. Let's take number one. I'm gonna open it with Notepad++. You can open it with anything. Any Notepad, uh, it's fine. I'm gonna do a Control F. I want to find protect. It should be almost at the end of the file. Almost at the end of the file, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see, here's the password. This is D1A4. That's not the actual password because that's encrypted. So I, right, I can't just take that password and, and copy and paste. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to delete this the whole thing over here. I'm gonna delete this protection right now. So now this, I'll remove the, the password protection in from that file. I'm doing save and I can close this. 
So now this one is unprotected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one back in to this file. And OK. So now that one is back in there. So now if I look at the... This file is tells that this, your file has been changed, modified. Do you wish to update your, the archive? Just say yes. So I updated that. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change it back to XLSX. So XLSX. Hit enter. And I'll close this. I can close this one too. I'll, I'll, do, I'll take care of the other ones later. But right now, I'm just going to show you that I did unprotect the first one. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here, if I open this, this is still the original file. If I go to sheet 1, which is this astronomy over here, as you can see, it's still protected. I can't do nothing other than just the fields that's unprotected. So if I right click, see the protection is still there. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to close this file. I'm not saving anything because the file that I want to use now is on the zip file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. I'm going to extract, create a, create a folder with that name. So this is the folder. And this is the file that have, this is the file that have the sheet one unprotected. So let's open that and let's verify if this is this is the case. So that's astronomy. As you can see, it's not protected anymore. I can click on these files. And if you go to here where they have the formulas, I see all my formulas in there. But this sheet is not protected anymore. If I right click, see it's not protected anymore. The other ones are still protected because I haven't changed them yet. But I just want to show you how you can do this uh, unprotected or remove the pr uh, password protection for the sheet of any Excel file by just doing this. Very simple. Uh, there's a couple um, tests that you needed to do, but you don't need to install any software and need to do anything else. Just uh, by uh, renaming the file or saving as XLSS if you have an older version of the file, change the file to rename the file to zip. I can just do it here. I don't need it. I, I create an extra step. I zip the file, I don't have, technically I don't have to do it, just change the file name over here, which is the same thing. All right, this file now is the zip file. And back again to XLS, Excel folder, and then worksheets. And those are all your uh, worksheets that you have on, the, on your file. And of course I only did for sheet one. I need to do it for all of the other sheets, so I'll, I'll change this uh, and remove all the passwords this way I'll be able to re reuse the file make the change that I needed to make add a new uh, memory badge or stuff like that so this file I created to use to track the scouts mirror badges that they they earn in activity active them during their that 2014 year so I think this is it if you have any questions please make sure you make a comments or subscribe so you can see my latest video in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a nice one.